People with obstructive sleep apnea should not consider surgery, according to new treatment guidelines from the American College of Physicians. There's limited evidence that surgery is useful in the treatment of obstructive sleep apnea, and in addition, there can be significant adverse effects to surgical approaches. Obstructive sleep apnea, or OSA, is a condition in which the airway collapses or becomes blocked during sleep, causing shallow breathing or breathing pauses lasting from a few seconds to minutes. The best options for initial treatment of obstructive sleep apnea are weight loss and continuous positive airway pressure. Both reduce the abnormalities that are seen in sleep studies of patients with OSA. Continuous positive airway pressure, or CPAP, increases air pressure in your throat so that your airway does not collapse when you breathe. For patients who don't comply with CPAP treatment, ACP recommends a mandibular advancement device. The evidence shows that they decrease the uh, abnormalities seen on sleep studies and improve sleep. However, mandibular advancement devices are not as effective as CPAP in decreasing the fall of oxygen while uh, patients with OSA are sleeping. The guidelines, which are published in Annals of Internal Medicine, include advice to help physicians practice high-value care. Physicians should emphasize to their patients the importance of complying with treatment, both weight loss and CPAP. Furthermore, physicians should balance the costs of intervention with the likelihood that the patient will comply. For more information, go to acponline.org.